guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, I want to talk this one. That's right. Uh, and I decided to be extra petty and put up the worst pictures I could find because this is going to get petty. Now we have stuff coming out of Sky News Australia. And can I say, good day, my Australian friends. I'm so glad you're here. Um, so we're going to talk about that. I do want to say this seems to be the calm before the storm. We're about to go into that awful New York summit. I'm using air quotations on this one. I've been through it. Um, tomorrow marks when Dumb and Dumberton go to try to, if you can believe this, talk to people about parenting. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. So I'm very curious what, what will happen with that. We haven't seen pictures yet. You know it's going to be a spectacle, and uh, I, for one, am uh, here to judge and mock it. But before that happens, I wanted to talk about this article that came out, again, from Sky News. Meghan Markle's image damaged beyond repair as Duchess plots major... <laughs> I can't even get through this without laughing. Major public relations comeback. Okay. How many times have we heard this? She's going to have a major comeback. She's remaking her image. <laughs> Both of them, right? Constantly. All right. Here we go. British commentator Niles Gardner believes Meghan Markle is still, quote, hugely unpopular. Can we just focus on that? Because I know she'll hate it. Hugely unpopular in both the, in both the United Kingdom and the United States. Hmm. I'd go ahead and add a few other places to that list, starting with mm, South Africa <laughs> after the crap she pulled there. Oh, or since we're talking about Australia, let's, uh, let's talk about their awful behavior at the Australian trip. Man, they've pissed people off all over the world, haven't they? All right, let's go back to the article because this bears repeating. She <laughs> believes that Meghan Markle is still hugely unpopular in the United Kingdom, United States. I just felt like I needed to say that again. And dismiss speculation the formal, <laughs> former working royal can relaunch her public image. Hmm. You yeah, don't have to agree with that. You can do all the relaunches, rebrands, whatever you want to call it you want. We can still see who you are. Megan is hugely unpopular on both sides of the Atlantic. I just felt like I needed to pause for dramatic effect. Let's say that again. Megan is hugely unpopular on both sides of the Atlantic. See, I told you I was going to be petty. And those levels are greater than those of Harry, Mr. Gardner told the Daily Express on Sunday. Now, I am going to have to disagree a little bit and say, don't underestimate how much people can't stand Harry either favorite article ever continues all the money in the world will not repair her damaged reputation it has been damaged beyond repair and has inflicted this upon herself nobody else is to blame that's right if you're watching this and i have the ever-increasing suspicion that you or your people are you have no one else to blame you can play victim all you want see how well that's worked out for you so far you can put on all the shows like this that you want. You can pretend to be a human all you want. We can see right through you. Even spending tens of millions of dollars on a PR makeover won't succeed. The American and British people can now see right through that. And the irony of ironies is you guys, meaning Harold and Fraud, put it out there for us to see. Put it out there. In things like this documentary, you put it out there in Dum Dum's book. I mean, you keep putting it out there. <laughs> and then you wonder why you have to rebrand 100,000 times. Oh, yeah, because you two are a-holes. Hmm. The comments come amid persistent rumors Megan is hoping to pull off a massive PR turnaround despite her lagging popularity both in the U.S. and in Prince Harry's native country. I'm stuck on this massive PR rebrand slash turnaround. Didn't she just try this? Didn't we just see her at the hamburger place trying to be I don't, the burger queen, whatever it is that she's going for? I'm just stuck on this, that they have to keep rebranding themselves. If you just be a human being, I mean, too late now, but if they had just been humans, they wouldn't have to rebrand themselves a hundred million times. If they just shut the hell up, they wouldn't be going through this. But no, they can't do it. She can't do it. Arguably, 
The true low point for the Sussex brand came back in May when Spotify tore up a multi-million dollar podcasting contract with Harry and Meghan after the couple failed to meet output benchmarks. Yeah, they've had so many low points, see picture for details, uh, that it's hard to pick a true low point. Again, I would probably lean back toward the South Africa interview. I would also lean toward, well, this disaster. It is fascinating, right? They're trying to set some sort of record as to how many low points they could actually have. If you just be human beings, you wouldn't have to go through the rebranding every couple of days. Nope, they can't do it. They just want those big fat paychecks and, again, lecture people on parenting stuff. You know, while the kids are with the nannies. So it says the only project to come from the deal... Megan's much-hyped podcast, Archetypes, what a stupid word, was canceled after one season and 12 episodes. God, I can't believe they did 12 episodes of that drivel. Amid rumors, Megan had little to do with the production and relied heavily on producers to pad out the hour-long episodes. It's too hard, you guys. You believe that they expected her to work and to produce things after giving her a ridiculous amount of money. I mean, that's obviously the ist word she likes to throw around. I'm actually surprised she didn't call the microphone the ist word she likes to throw around. But clearly she's gotten over her fear of microphones because, well, case in point. In a highly embarrassing spray, that's a great way to say that, a top Spotify executive made the unusual step of publicly slamming the couple as blanking grifters. Oh, we won't forget that. That guy's my hero. Over (laughs) over their unprofessional conduct and questionable work ethic. I like that they're implying that those two have a work ethic. Nevertheless, Megan's plan to sustain her fame appear to be continuing with a return to Instagram. That's her big plan, returning to Instagram. That's how she's going to remake her image once again by returning to Instagram. Just let that sink in. From royalty, member of the royal family, to plotting a return to Instagram. You married Bozo the Prince, and you're hoping a return to Instagram will be enough to what? Provide for your future to save your reputation? Yeah, it's too late. Possible revival of her lifestyle blog still believed to be in the cards. Okay, we just saw her peddling stickers a few weeks ago. Let's not ever forget that. Uh, And that didn't go so well for her either. So who... Nobody, nobody is going to be quote-unquote influenced by this one. Back in August, journalists uncovered a mysterious Instagram with the handle at Megan, which is widely believed to be the 42-year-old's new social media account. Everything these two touch turns to shit. So let her try. I'm excited to see it myself. I want to see that return to Instagram. Again, the fact that we're even talking about somebody may or may not come back to Instagram to try to be an influencer, I find so funny and shows how spectacularly they fell. Then the article concludes with the fiasco from last week where the rumors were flying that she would be be picked to replace Dianne Feinstein, first senator of California. And before we could all be done laughing at that ridiculousness, I assume put out by her and her people, uh, it was proven untrue, and a different replacement was was named. So that's it for the article, but let's talk about what's next for the parking lot posers, because this is going to be an interesting week. So again, here they are tomorrow. I've talked about it on my live stream. My theory is it's all to try to upstage William and Catherine, who already had an event planned for Tuesday. But then all of a sudden, these two swoop in with their summit, And again, if you watch the live stream, you know why I keep saying Summit. Hint, the event is actually called a festival. They have nicknamed their little portion of it a Summit. So now stories are leaking out, again using quotation marks, allegedly, because they want to make it seem like a big deal and try to step on William and Catherine. That's just my opinion. That's just the theory I came up with, but it seems to be working out that way, doesn't it? You know what? Let them try. It's going to be fun to watch it fail spectacularly, just like everything else they try.
You guys, this was fun. I can't wait to uh, see what uh, nonsense these two come out with next. You know, while we wait for the return to Instagram. Because again, every time there's a lull, there's rumors of a return to Instagram. Well, this was fun. As more news comes out, of course, I'll be talking about it. I can't wait to see how these two cock up New York spectacularly. <laughs> um, near catastrophic car chase and, and all that. Uh, and what uh, wide leg pants she's wearing. But uh, you guys are the best. I appreciate you. I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this. As always, if you want to support the show, definitely check out the merch. We got Make It Make Sense. Recollections may vary. And check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where I'm doing bonus episodes and content and where you can become an, ex- an executive producer. So I'm going to show my executive producers here and thank you all for your unwavering support. I appreciate you all so much. Again, thank you everybody who's come out to my live chats lately. Those have been like just the highlight for me. So much fun. So um, I look forward to doing another one soon. I'm sorry I can't announce them quicker. It kind of depends on how each day turns out and if I have extra time at the end of it, if I'm able to do a live chat. I'm hoping to do one I don't know, maybe, it's a weird week for me, but um, I don't know, maybe later today, we'll see. I'll put it in the community tab. You check there. Um, when I'm going to do one, I'll, I'll post it so that way you can see, and we'll do another one soon. Again, thank you guys for everything. Make sure you're subscribed, and have, the, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for being here. Honk, honk, everybody. Oh.